Here's a quick little video about juggling Mills Mess. This is the Mills Mess pattern. It's a pretty cool pattern. A lot of people like it. It's all arm wavy, arm crossy. It's pretty nifty looking. Okay. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things you need to learn before you learn Mills Mess. Right? That I believe pretty strongly in. This is the cascade pattern. You should be able to run the cascade pattern like this probably for about 50 to 100 throws consistently every single time, you know, cleanly, fully controlled, no moving around like this. You know, every time you want to, you look at into the cascade, out of the cascade, like that. Got to be comfortable with the cascade. Another pattern you should know is uh, the reverse cascade. Okay, have a look at this. This is the reverse cascade. And similarly, you should be very comfortable with it. Right, this is the regular cascade. Regular cascade, reverse cascade. Right? Another thing you should know is the half shower. This is the half shower going one way, where my left hand is throwing over the pattern and my right hand is throwing under. And the reverse half shower, where my right hand is throwing over the pattern and my left hand is throwing under. Okay? And you should be able to transition between these patterns as you please. So here's cascade, here's reverse cascade, into you know, left hand half shower, right hand half shower, into reverse cascade, back into cascade, and back to home. Once you feel comfortable doing that, just kind of as I did, you know, pretty comfortable doing that, then I think you're ready to start learning Mills Mess. Um, one of the first steps before you actually get into all the arm crossing goodness is taking one ball and throwing it over the top of the pattern. So I don't know if you can follow that ball that's being thrown over the top of the pattern. That's what I'm referring to. Okay, so at this point I'm going to switch out with a different color ball so it's easier to track. So the green ball now is being thrown over the top of the pattern. Okay, and really what that is, it's, it's just your half shower one way, and then immediately it's the half shower the other way. Okay, so half shower one way, half shower the other way, and those half showers are basically just continue, you know, uh, reverse cascade throws coming from one hand or the other. So once you're able to do this pattern, where the ball goes over the top of the pattern like this, Mills Mess is just a step away. Mills Mess is essentially this pattern where I am carrying that green ball underneath the pattern instead of throwing it over the pattern. So again, I'm going to carry that green ball underneath the pattern instead of throwing it over the pattern. Now I'm carrying it under and I'm doing the Mills Mess. Okay, functionally it's the same thing. Right? How do you practice that? You may want to try practicing arms crossed and doing a reverse cascade with arms crossed. Arms crossed the other way. And then you've got Mills Mess. So a lot of prerequisite stuff. You need to know your cascade. You need to know your reverse cascade. You need to know your half shower one direction. You need to know your half shower in the other direction. And then you need to be able to switch between the two. Once you can do that comfortably, carry that one that you throw over the pattern, under the pattern, and then you've got Mills Mess. Hope that was helpful. Thank you.